The second year students from the Digital Photography and Imaging program are finishing up their time at Sioux College and gearing up for a couple upcoming photography displays around Sault Ste. Marie. I decided to join the photography program um, as an outlet to be creative and to learn uh, a skill where you can utilize your sort of creative abilities um, and <laughs> maybe have a career at it too. I'm more on the creative artistic side of photography, so I mean, lots of people go into portraiture and business and that kind of thing, and I'm more interested in exploring social constructions and uh, gender issues and um, creating storylines through my work. I really enjoy photography because well, it's a great creative outlet, um, and it ranges from, you know, a point and shoot where you can just go out and take a million pictures and don't really think about it to really honing your skill and learning about the camera and and what it does and and taking a lot of time to do that and it allows you to like capture moments and everybody wants to be able to capture moments we want you know immediate gratification and I think photography is a really great way to achieve that um, and still produce something magnificent I think there's something with photography to be able to share what you are seeing and how you see and how you think with the rest of the world. There's, there's really no other way to do it. Um, there may be people that are well-spoken enough to, uh, to explain what they think, but this is the only way I can think of to really literally show somebody what you were seeing, show somebody what you were thinking, um, and to take a moment in time in a, in a, a random place and then share it with the world. Um, and, and that excites me in, in a big way, um, communication. Well, not only is Colin a, um, like a photographer himself um, and has worked in photography, but he's a really great mentor and offers a lot of information um, and support regarding uh, what we're learning, our own work and endeavors, as well as helping to connect us with uh, people in the community and the industry and creating as many uh, opportunities as he possibly can and seems to really be able to focus in on each individual student and and really try to bring out what they're absolutely capable of. I enjoy photography because it allows me to uh, deal with my shortcomings as an artist because I have no skill from painting and I have relative skill when it comes to drawing, but nothing I could get would match the idea I have as much as a photo would be. I shoot mainly portraiture. I try to do some conceptual portraiture mostly. Uh, exploring different art mediums and different art history movements from Art Nouveau to Surrealism. And I'm generally drawn towards people more because I find them more interesting. On the off side, I do still lives as well, um, just so I don't get stagnant. It's a great hobby because it's easily accessible and with the advent of smartphones, everybody has a camera. But for those who want to take it more seriously, this program has a lot to offer. I suggest people come out and see our gallery because we are the second year graduate of photography and I guarantee you there'll be things there that you've never seen before. We have uh, work ranging from fashion photography, food photography, and, uh, and both of those areas done at really high levels. Um, we have a lot of um, sports, um, editorial kind of uh, portraiture. We have some incredible still life work uh, that's being done, uh, some landscapes, some nature, I, <laughs> really everything. Um, and that's, uh, and that's a, a huge advantage for any viewers coming, is that the range is incredible. Um, this group worked very, very hard, and, and what they've created is personal and interesting and um, technically um, challenging. Um, I've worked in bigger markets, I, um, uh, Toronto and Ottawa, and I, I'm familiar with the level of work that comes out there. And I think people would be surprised that the work that's coming out of this school in Sault Ste. Marie w competes on a national level. That just because they're local and because this is Northern Ontario doesn't mean that there's not work here that is um, of the caliber that you'd see in fine galleries in New York and Toronto and Ottawa and elsewhere. Um, if you're looking for great, smart, well-controlled technical um, and creative photography, I, I, I urge you to come down and take a peek at these students. Um, it will open your eyes as to what's possible with the camera. The students' work will be on display at the Camera Craft Gallery starting March 4th. Their final year on gallery will be on display in April at the Bush Plain Museum. For Shaw TV, I'm David Carlasio.